after Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, I was on the ground in 24 hours as part of the first group of Red Crossers that went down to the ground. And one of the very first things that we discovered was that everyone was trying to navigate using their phones. As somebody who's been on the ground using mapping software, it's extremely important to have accurate maps. We've run into situations where roads have been destroyed and what could have been a 20 minute drive for one of our drivers was a five hour drive, trying to get food to communities where there isn't food. Those are some big challenges for us. So the reality is, you know, we're blessed in the United States. We're blessed in Europe. We have a map. I've been to villages in Africa and in Asia where we are literally for the first time digitizing that map. A couple years ago, uh, we got together with Intome and they were curious about how they could help us saying, hey, I think a computer can do this better. We set out to build up what we would call a computer vision model that can be used to take in as an input, a satellite image, and then spit out on the backside the location of a bridge, if there was a bridge in the image. We started off with Uganda. When we look at the amount of time it takes an individual mapper to hand draw all the roads, waterways, and bridges in that tile, that time period is roughly around 13 minutes. However, if we run that tile through our model that's already been trained, we can generate predictions in seconds per tile. So for us to scan the entirety of Southern Uganda and generate those predictions, we did that in just a couple hours. Technology and, and AI in particular is making things just that little bit faster. Disasters are changing. They're getting more complex, they're getting bigger, they're getting faster. They're getting harder to respond to. And that's why we need more tech tools to help us out.